let's get back to you with you personally. Um, you know, you we talked about how you came from some hard times, turned your life around, and now you turned it towards uh, success and helping other people and so on. I mean, your social media is awesome. Um, it's and your your story's amazing. So what? we kind of talked about this. So what changed and how can we personally all implement these changes into our own lives to better ourselves and whatever we do? Man, I'm just, I'm really big on going all in in all areas. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sick and tired of hearing people talk about needing balance, work-life balance. How do I find balance? And the reason I'm sick of it is because every time people talk about it, they're talking about it in a way or as a crutch to work less. Mm -hmm. Like you never hear people talk about work-life balance that they, you know, that they need to work more. You never hear, you never hear a, a man say, man, I crushed it last quarter at home with my, with my wife and, and my kids, you know, this next quarter, I really need to be in the office more. Like that's never the work-life balance conversation. It's always like, man, my life's just so out of balance. I need to start leaving the office at three every day. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like ridiculous. Like if you need to be with your family more, be with your family more. It doesn't mean you need to work less. It may mean you need to sleep less or maybe you need to, you know, have less happy hours on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and have less extracurricular activities and hang out with your friends less, but it doesn't mean you need to be at work less. And so, you know, I believe that the truly successful, the highest level performers balance through addition, not subtraction. Mm -hmm. And that is my advice for everyone is to look at each area of their life. And, you know, we split that up as, you know, your relationships, your body, your mind, and your business, and just go all in on them. And to understand that your, your life is never going to be in balance, but it's more about becoming aware of the imbalances quicker and adjusting accordingly faster. So becoming aware when, hey, you know, I probably should, you know, spend some more time at home. But understand that when you do that, it's going to create an imbalance somewhere else. And so it's more of like this kind of ebb and flow, or you could call it a harmony or whatever you want to call it. But it's just this understanding that, you know, people beat themselves up too much about not being balanced, but it doesn't exist. Like true balance doesn't exist. One of my, you know, the, one of the people that's had the biggest impact in my life is a pastor named Erwin McManus uh, out of California, Mosaic Church. And he's just incredible. And I had him on my podcast one time and I asked him, you know, how do you get people to get past this idea of, you know, needing balance and just to go all in on life? And his answer was just so beautiful and eloquent as most of the stuff he says is. It's like I prepped him for a year in advance for this question. He just immediately said, well, if you think of balance less as equality and more as an asymmetrical symmetry, I think, you'd under, or you'd, I think you'd have a different perspective on balance. It's like, okay, continue. And he said, you know, so if you think of the earth is in balance with the sun – and all of the planets in the solar system are in balance with one another, but they're not the same size. They're not the same. You know, they're, they're all completely different, but they all are working in balance. So is true with our lives in figuring out which area deserves the greatest gravitational pull during that season. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's what it's all about. It's, it's understanding that nothing will ever be in this balance as equality that it's all about just realizing at this moment, right this second, where does my focus and attention need to be? And then tomorrow it's going to be different and being okay with that and not beating yourself up about it. Um, and at the very least stop talking about it and complaining about it. Yeah. Um, and so that's it. Like I, I want to be seen as a guy that was going all in at all times in all areas. Like when I'm with my family, I'm completely all in. When I'm working, I'm completely all in. When I'm at the gym, I'm completely all in. You know, when I'm reading, I'm completely all I just want to be f so laser focused on the task that's in front of me um, and eliminate distractions. And I think that that ultimately is the, the key to success. And it's the key to eliminating a lot of the failures that have come along the way. 